Slovakia's pro-Russia Robert Fico was in pole position to start talks on forming a government on Sunday after winning the country's parliamentary election. Three-time former Prime Minister Fico's Smer SSD party won almost 23% of the vote, more than any other party, after campaigning on a mandate to end military aid to Ukraine. A government led by Fico would see NATO member Slovakia joining Hungary in challenging the European Union's consensus on support for Ukraine. It would also signal a further shift in the region against political liberalism, which will once again be tested when Poland goes to the polls later this month. Though touted to win by the exit polls, Liberal Party Progressive Slovakia, or PS, took second place. Its leader, Michala Szymacka, vowed to seek partners to prevent the former leftist prime minister's return to power. Realistically, there are two options at, you know, at the table. One is a government led by Mr. Fico, and the other one uh, is a coalition made up of Progressive Slovakia and, and, and other partners, which would in fact have uh, over 80 MPs. But uh, we fully respect the fact that the president, as she, as she has said before, is likely to nominate Mr. Fico to, to give it a try first. Fico's party is more nationalist and socially conservative, criticizing social liberalism, which it says is imported from Brussels. The PS is liberal on green policies, LGBT rights, deeper European integration and human rights. Five other parties won seats. Third-placed leftist party class is an offshoot of Fico's Smer party and may be poised to become the kingmaker of a coalition. Class leader Peter Pellegrini is a former colleague of Fico's and kept his options open on future coalitions. Well, first of all, I re reiterated my thanks to everyone who voted and especially those who voted for Progressive Slovakia. Um, this is a very strong result for our party, 18%, over half a million votes. It's the strongest result for any Liberal Party in our modern history. Um, and of course, that was despite all the dirty tricks and attacks in the campaign. Nonetheless, the fact of the matter is that uh, Smer is the winner. And we, of course, respect that, although we think it's bad news for the country. And it will be even worse news if uh, Mr. Fiso forms a government. Um, therefore, I will be in touch with other political leaders whose parties were elected to parliament on an informal basis to discuss ways of, ways of preventing that. Realistically, there are two options at, you know, at the table. One is a government led by Mr. Fico, and the other one uh, is a coalition made up of Progressive Slovakia and, and, and other partners, which would in fact have uh, over 80 MPs. But uh, we fully respect the fact that the president, as she, as she has said before, is likely to nominate Mr. Fico to, to give it a try first. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll have the discussions and we'll see. Because, as, as I said, we think it would be really bad news for the country, for our democracy, for our rule of law, and, and for our international standing, and for our finances, and for our economy, if <coughs> Mr. Fico uh, forms a government. Budeme sedieť na centrále smeru a budeme čakať na telefonát do pani prezidentky.